Hello, my beautiful people. Today I have a nice, useful, and simple lesson for you. This is the lesson where we will get to know each other. Poznajmy się, uh, which basically will give you some basics that you can survive throughout your uh, conversations, first conversations in Polish. How do we say what is your name? Jak masz na imię? What is your name? Jak masz na imię? As you can see, we have the special Polish letter L, but we don't pronounce it. Whenever it's at the end of the word, we just pronounce it as normal E. So, imię is how we pronounce it, not imię. Imię. Jak masz na imię? But we also have another way to ask this question. And this way is... Jak się nazywasz? Jak się nazywasz? Jak się nazywasz? Which is literally translated to... How are you called? I know, right? So, uh, remember that you can make this also the official way. In Poland, we're very official. So when we don't know someone, we usually call them Madam Sir. Uh, so in a shop and uh, everywhere, literally, we, we do say that. Even among young people, we sometimes we don't uh, use the a you version, uh, but a, an official version. Because that's just the way we function here. So how to make these questions official? We add the words madam here marked in pink and sir here marked in blue. And we change the verbs from the second person singular to the third person singular. So we say jak się pani pan nazywa. So as you can see, we added the sir, madam, and we changed the verb nazywasz to nazywa, because that's the third person singular. And equally, we can do it for the first question, jak masz na imię, becomes jak ma pani pan na imię. Jak ma pani pan na imię. Of course, if you want to make it plural, you can say jak się nazywacie. Nazywacie. So, jak masz na imię? Jak się nazywasz? Jak się pani pan nazywa? Jak ma pani pan na imię? Jak się nazywacie? And how do we answer? Well, my name is Eva, we will say, uh, because my name is Eva. So, this is mam na imię Eva. Mam, I have na imię the name Eva. Mam na imię Eva. My name is Eva. Or we can say nazywam się Eva. Nazywam się Eva. Which literally is translated to I am called. Or we can just see, simply say I am Eva. No? So jestem Eva. And of course jestem is the to be verb. So I hope you've already seen my video on the to be verb, which is one of the most important ones. And to make this answers plural, you can say nazywamy się or jesteśmy. That's the way you will answer. You might be asked, skąd jesteś? Skąd jesteś? Where are you from? And I personally will say, jestem z Polski. I am from Poland. But you can say any of uh, the countries. So I have named here few of them and that's z Niemiec. As we can see, we do a phonetic liaison uh, of the Z with the next words. So we don't really pronounce it z Niemiec. Jestem z Niemiec. We kind of join it together and we say z Niemiec. It flows, no? Z Polski. And as you can see, it actually, in, with Poland, the phonetic way of saying it comes out to almost like S, <laughs> you know? Z Polski. Z Polski. Jestem z Polski. The Z is so soft, it lies on the border of sounding like S letter. So, jestem. I am. 
z Polski, from Poland, or z Niemiec, from Germany, z Irlandii, z Irlandii, from Ireland, z Hiszpanii, z Hiszpanii, from Spain, z Portugali, z Portugali, z from Portugal, z Kolumbii, from Colombia, z Kolumbii, z Meksyku, from Mexico, z Meksyku, or you can say from the United States, z Stanów Zjednoczonych, ze Stanów Zjednoczonych, ze Stanów Zjednoczonych. So as you can see, the Z became Z because Stanów states is plural. So that's just a couple of uh, countries. Someone might ask you, gdzie mieszkasz? Gdzie mieszkasz? Where do you live? Gdzie mieszkasz? Gdzie mieszkasz? Where do you live? And you might answer, mieszkam w Krakowie z moją żoną. A ty? I live in Krakow with my wife. And you? Mieszkam w Krakowie z moją żoną. That's wife, but you can say z moją dziewczyną, my girlfriend. Dziewczyną, or you can say my boyfriend, z moim chłopakiem. There's a, or you can say alone, so you don't have to say anything. <laughs> Mieszkam w Krakowie. A, a ty? A ty? And you? And you can say, ja mieszkam w Warszawie. I live in Warsaw. Ja mieszkam w Warszawie z moim mężem. Z moim mężem. Ja mieszkam w Warszawie z moim mężem. And if you want to make, the, make it the official way, you will say again, pan, pani. And you will make the verb uh, a third person singular. So you will say, gdzie pan? Pani mieszka, okay? Mieszka. And then someone might ask you, ile masz lat? How old are you? Ile masz lat? Ile masz lat? And you can say, mam dwadzieścia lat. In Poland, uh, in Polish, we actually don't say, don't use the verb uh, to be for age. We use the verb to have, masz. So I say, mam, I have. 20 years. That's how we say it, but it means I am 20 years old. So, a mam 20 lat. And if you want to make the question the official way, you, is, you will say, ile ma pan pani lat, okay? So, let's pronounce the numbers which will become useful. So, jeden, dwa, trzy, Cztery, pięć, sześć, siedem, osiem, dziewięć, dziesięć. Jeden, dwa, trzy, cztery, pięć, sześć, siedem, osiem, dziewięć, dziesięć. And then we have dwadzieścia, trzydzieści. Czterdzieści, pięćdziesiąt, sześćdziesiąt, siedemdziesiąt, osiemdziesiąt, dziewięćdziesiąt, sto. So, if I want to say I am thirty-five years old, I will say mam trzydzieści pięć lat. And then you might be asked, where do you work? Gdzie pracujesz? And then you will answer, you know, I work in, uh, I don't know, primary school, no, coffee shop or post office. So you will say, pracuję, pracuję, I work w, in, szkole podstawowej, szkole, szkole podstawowej. I work in primary school. If you want to just say in school, you will say, pracuję w szkole. Okay? And then you might say, w korporacji, w korporacji, or w sklepie, w sklepie, na poczcie, na poczcie, 
w piekarni, w policji, na lotnisku. So there's a lot of places where you can work uh, and that's a couple of them. W szpitalu, w szpitalu. And then they might ask, you know, like, what line of work are you in? Who do you work as, you know? Jako kto pracujesz? Jako kto pracujesz? And then you will just say the verb to be, I am, like in English. Jestem kelnerką, a waitress. Or you can say lekarzem. Or pielęgniarką, which is feminine. As I've marked with the colors pink and then the blue are the masculine versions. Pielęgniarzem. Pielęgniarką. Pielęgniarzem. Dziennikarką. Dziennikarzem. Menadżerką. Menadżerem. Sekretarką. Sekretarzem. Nauczycielką. Nauczycielem. Policjantką. Policjantem, sprzedawczynią, sprzedawcą, piekarzem, kierowcą. And if you want to make the question more official, you will say, jako kto pan, pani pracuje. And that's it, guys. That was a short video on how to introduce yourself from the first conversations you have. Hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe and thank for being. Thank you for being here.